ready start irrigation and power form the basis of the agricultural and industrial development of our country after the droughts of the previous 2 years no one in india needs any reminder about the vital importance of irrigation there is also no doubt that electricity will always be a basic element in any formula for progress the drought has also proved that electricity is an input for agriculture i am glad to be here because as engineers scientists and technologists you represent the future as citizens and administrators we look to you to uncover our natural resources and suggest how best these might be exploited in the national interest technology is moving ahead in every direction and day by day new opportunities are opening up before all of us what we need is the availability of large quantities of power at very low prices which would influence changes in technology and stimulate the development of a new technology we have vast water resources in the indo gangetic basin of which i am being constantly reminded by our minister dr k l rao these must naturally be tapped for irrigation when one merely thinks of all that our institutions or a broad such as yours can do the prospects and truly exciting and open up new vistas in many areas of national life you have already mentioned mr president the importance of electrification and i am glad to find that some aspects of rural electrification figure on your agenda in most of our 5 lakh villages people are still prisoner of daylight and therefore have a short working day at one time we hoped that we would be able to electrify at least 1 lakh villages by 1970 which is the gandhi century year i hope that we will somehow manage to reach this target and will continue to make rapid progress towards bringing electricity to the remaining villages today we are able to build a good deal of the generating and transmission equipment which is required but we have also to improve the economics of our power generation and transmission so as to supply cheap power to needy customers and yet earn profits on the operations of our electricity undertakings the development of regional grids will assist in optimizing the distribution system this will be a great help to enrich all of us and yield better and quicker results only a fraction of the cultivated area is at present irrigated you mr president have remarked that we can double the acreage under irrigation so that cropping can be extended the amount of land available is fixed but the pressure on the available land is steadily increasing there is no alternative therefore to increasing the efficiency of land utilization and getting higher productivity per acre irrigation is one means towards this end it is important that we utilize fully and rapidly such irrigation potential as has been already created i think this requires much closer association than is generally found between the irrigation engineer the agronomist and the farm extension worker planning for the utilization of water 
must commence at the time an irrigation project is conceived it cannot be left to be taken up when construction is advanced or after storage has been completed i have been heartened to hear of the good work which has been done in the kosi area this might well be a model along with some others to be studied with advantage india already has what is said to be the largest irrigation system in the world but i am told that our water management system could be greatly improved irrigation can be wasteful and irrigation without drainage can cause damage water management and soil conservation constitutes science in themselves and i am happy that you are holding a symposium on the problem of water management our rivers and our ground water are national assets which we must use to the best overall advantage i am deeply concerned that there has sometimes been a controversy over what the termed interstate river waters i am sure that technical solutions can be found to safeguard the legitimate interests of every region or state and that these matters are best considered in a rational and scientific manner rather than on the basis of emotion there is one other aspect perhaps not directly related to your conference on which i should like to touch the development of irrigation especially in arid tracts is often a starting point of an economic and social revolution it demands more attractive power and creates new demands for roads markets and processing and storage facilities the stimulus which irrigation provides to agriculture also generates new and additional incomes much of which are invested in the facilities earlier described a part of it also goes into village improvement schemes the renovation and modernization of individual homes the paving of streets the digging of wells and so on i believe this kind of development offers an unrivaled opportunity to promote a new village movement stop